Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host Frank the Vamp, and uh, sorry I'm in bed, but I'm completely comfortable. I wanted to do a very quick video, um, you know, talking about a movie that I saw recently, um, and I just feel so comfortable. I want to do it from here. So excuse me for doing it from bed, but I think that this is you're gonna get the best out of me here. So what's going on is that today we're going to talk about Insidious chapter 3 and uh, before I tell you my thoughts on the movie let's just go through um, let's just go through uh, you know the players and people involved directed this time by Lee Wano um, you know James Wan is, is still involved but this time he's producing and uh, we have uh, starring the awesome awesome Lin Shay and uh, we have also Stephanie Scott. Um, the plot basically talks. It, it's it's basically it's a prequel. It, you know, it's it's a movie that talks. Uh, you know, that talks about what happened before the uh, um, the hunting of the Lambert family happened. So. We have uh, basically this girl uh, that you know has her mom recently passed away, and she feels that she still needed to talk to her before she went on. She passed on, right? So she goes to to our psychic, you know, played by Lin Shay, and um, you know she first doesn't want to do it, but reluctantly says, "Okay, I'll." I'll help you because you see the uh, you know the, the the girl really wants to you know talk to her mom that has moved on that has passed on right so so she conducts her see the seance and 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 tries to talk to the dead but unfortunately can't really make contact but you know she does bring an entity you know an evil entity from the further you know in you know into our world and uh, you know what follows is basically the hunting of this girl and and uh, our psychic trying to help her you know and um, <clears throat> and Lin Shay trying to help her excuse me and um, first of all I went into this movie really really um, not expecting much to be honest once you get to th the third part in a trilogy um, you know, history has told us that the results aren't very good. You know, they're not. So I was, I have very little expectations coming in. But um, I have heard some okay reviews from it. So I decided to just go ahead and take a look. And, uh, well, the movie, the story is nothing new. Um, you know, it's full of jump scares. Normally, I would say that this movie will fall into the very average category of averages goes, you know, not being, not being either really bad or really good, just being in the middle. But two things made me change my mind. Um, number one thing is Lin Shay. I mean, she is fantastic as a psychic. I mean, she is very believable the way. There's some scenes, you know, I don't want to give anything away that she just kicks ass. I mean, she goes in there and, and, and faces, you know, these these entities. Um, and, you know, and, and there's a good part that she spends on the further, which is really, really creepy. She just does. And also we get to see a little bit of character development and see her own needs of talking to some people that has moved on in her own personal lives. Because we always wonder, somebody can contact the dead, wouldn't this person also contact her? You know, her own dead relatives or, or, or significant others, you know? And, and, and you know, that is, is kind of explained here. And, and it's really, really good. That wasn't touched on upon the, the last two movies, right? And we also get to see that you know she um, you know how she comes to be how she's complete I'm not gonna give anything away uh, but there's 
a completeness of how she's ready for the film. It's a perfect uh, transition. It's smooth. It's smooth and seamless. And and I really like you know the fact that it's you can really see the connection to the first film, um, and and it's actually done quite well. The second thing are the jump scares. Normally, jump scares get on my nerves because they're way too overdone, and and, and sometimes some of those jump. Uh, fake jump scares just drive you nuts like there's a cat or something you know, you know and it'll be like hey you know it's always oh, fake or or, or if somebody just pops in mm, these are really terrifying jump scares and i don't get scared a lot because i love horror movies i almost watch a horror movie a day at least okay you know i'm talking to a guy that sees thousands 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 most horrifying movies and some of them i chuckle rather than get scared this movie i got scared i got scared in a couple of places i got those jump scares where they're really 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 well done and there's one in particular i'm not going to spoil actually made me jump out of my chair i mean i did started to look around and some people were were also terrified some people were cringing so yeah i wasn't the only one man this movie uh I mean, I guess if you're going to make jumps, just make sure to make them well. And these are made fantastically well. Uh, I will say that the entities are actually scarier, way scarier than part two. And I, may I dare say as as scary as part one. So I want to say I really like this film. I, I like it. I like it way better than part two. So this is almost, I'm not going to say... That is better than part one because part one had just had so much mystery that I like added to this, you know. Um, and there is a there is a mystery part in here because you don't know why the entity or how it happened. You there there's some things in here that are mysterious, but not as mysterious as part one. So part one is James Wan masterpiece. I, I you know I, I think that that's you know it's it's a better horror film, but not by much. I'm gonna say this was I almost liked it as much. You know, I, I am very surprised because I normally would just dismiss this movie. But wow, it, it really did, you know, it really did make me jump. It really did make me cringe a little bit. So yeah, there you go. Definitely recommend you to watch Insidious Part 3. It's a nice uh, it's a nice slice of this, of this franchise. Um, you know, like I said, I even liked it better than Part 2, so... There you go, and and as much I will say as 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 much as I enjoy you see this one, I enjoyed this one so definitely, uh, I will give this movie a B plus, you know, maybe even an A minus on a good day. So yeah, it's it's really I mean, like I said, a lot of things it, it has all the feelings that it's just gonna go by the numbers or just gonna be average, but because of the acting and because of the character development and because of the scare scare factor of it i think it, it makes it over the top so there you go so leave your comments if you enjoyed this movie if you didn't like it let me know uh and please subscribe subscribe so you guys have a great day uh, rest of your day take it easy and uh, see you on next video